Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. This is going to be episode one in a new tutorial series where I build my own medieval Captain Rex armor. If you didn't already know, it is based on this artwork by Jake Bartok. He's a very talented artist and I'll leave his info in the description. If you can't already tell, this armor is 3D printed using files from Galactic Armory. Now these files are exclusive to my Patreon members and is immediately available when you sign up. So if you want to follow along with this project and 3D print the armor out yourself, be sure and check that out. Otherwise, I am going to be selling the full DIY kits in my shop as well. I'm very excited for this project. I think it's just going to look amazing when it's all said and done. And I'm on a big medieval Clone Wars kick. And so I'm very excited to get started on this project. In this video, I'm going to be covering basically how I'm going to put the armor on. I have a rough rigging system together. I'm going to show you some key points of that and just kind of be an introductory video to the tutorial series as a whole. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first part of the armor I'm going to be putting on is the knees. The knees are probably the most simple. It's just an elastic band behind the back. I do have to slide my shoes off to slide them on, but I want to put my knees on early because bending over as you put on more armor pieces is going to get harder and harder. So that's why I like to start there. Next, I'm going to put on this rigging system. This is the real meat and potatoes of the whole rigging system. Essentially though, it is very simple. It's just a bunch of two inch nylon straps with some buckles that keep everything in place. You can see I keep some parts as loops so that they can slide and so that it's you know comfortable to wear and can be adjusted. That's what those belt buckles on my torso are so that I can adjust the tightness as needed. You know, if I put on weight or lose weight. Up next is the abs. And you can see they kind of have a crisscrossing elastic band on the inside. And that is to provide tension at different points of the abs. So ideally it'll cover it all and it won't like sag one way or the other. Putting the abs on is pretty easy. The main challenge is just getting it past the knees and the hip plates that we've already put on. But the elastic bands are stretchy enough and we glued them far enough inside the abs to where it's pretty flexible and pretty easy to put on. Okay, next up is the torso and this is a lot of parts put together already, but I kind of like that. It makes putting everything on very simple. So I just have to put on one big piece. You can see I have both shoulders and the pauldron along with the bicep plates already attached to it. Those also use buckles and nylon straps so that I can adjust the length, how far apart each piece is, and I can take everything apart pretty easily if need be. The goal for the bicep plates is flexibility, so they are very loosely glued together on that nylon strap, but that will allow my arm to move around pretty freely. And the pauldron also uses two nylon straps and two buckles with the opposite side of the buckle glued directly onto the pauldron. That's to kind of help make sure that the pauldron doesn't fall forward or backward one way. The two buckle system keeps it pretty even on my shoulders and pretty centered. Forearms are very simple. Those slide right on. Those are one piece. And right now the calves are missing their elastic strap around the back just because I want to print these a little bit smaller. But those are just like the knees. Those are very simple pieces. The penultimate piece is the helmet with the visor that can flip upwards. I can't wait to work on this. I think it's going to just look amazing. Just like my Commander Wolf one. And lastly, we have two hand axes that just complete the set. Now the hand axes actually have a half an inch hole down the center of the handle for like a wooden rod. I'm actually gonna be using a steel rod once I can find one, a half inch in diameter. This is going to greatly increase the strength of these handles. Tall vertical pieces like this that are 3D printed are generally pretty weak and having that reinforcement rod down the center of it greatly helps. And I'm gonna make it out of steel because it's going to add a lot of weight to the piece as well. I think that's gonna be a cool feature. Overall, putting all the armor on, I'm very excited for it just based on the flexibility that I have. The torso is pretty rigid and, you know, I feel pretty tanky. I'm going to have to turn in sideways when walking through a door, but the lower body is very freeing. I'm actually going to be able to sit down and, you know, walk around pretty easily. And as you saw, I put all of the pieces on by myself, which is a big challenge. Usually when putting on costumes like a clone trooper, for example, I could never put all the pieces on myself and I'm actually even able to bend over, which is pretty rare for Star Wars costumes of this armor type. I'm gonna have to undo some of my work here just based on you know the amount of work I'm gonna have to put onto the armor pieces. Some of this rigging will get in the way, so I'll temporarily remove it, but it's just good to have a system in place and honestly a lot of fun to put the armor on at this stage. Up next, I'm gonna be working on smoothing out the armor to prepare it for painting, sourcing the leather pieces for this build because there are gonna be a lot of them, and I wanna start working on the helmet as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are excited for this project as I am. It's been a while since I've done a like fully wearable costume since Boba Fett. And sadly, I don't get to wear them that often, but it is a goal of mine to attend more conventions in costume. 
And so I think this would be a fun one to bring along. Remember to check out links in the description to the files, to the prints, everything will be down there. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.